Hello YouTube and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6. I'm the game mechanic. This is going to have a little bit of a different feel. Uh, we're going to finish off this game offline. Uh, I have been continue to have internet issues and Twitch issues and things like that. Um, and I'd just like to get this game in the books. Uh, we're, we're sort of, we've got our Mayan Empire here and we're winding down the end of the game. Uh, Going to go into a Golden Age in 4. Um, so that is good. Good, uh, and we are working on projects already. So cruising along, not not crazy economy scores, but doing just fine. We have a, a fairly productive, still growing Ruhr Valley city. We can get up to 24 housing, uh, which is pretty impressive. We can take 12 turns for the moon landing. And then at that point, uh, we should get a big, big boost of culture, get us all the way to democracy. Um, and then try to close out the game. So we're also working it towards uh, Einstein, which the AI has gotten significantly better at running projects. If you look at the Incan uh, total here of 75 scientists, uh, 75, 75, 75 scientist points, uh, that is definitely project based. I would be I would be shocked if that were their natural per turn. Uh, it's something more like 20, uh, even 48 seems a little high to me. But we've also earned a bunch. We're running those projects. Uh, we are approaching our cap on aluminum, so we want to get some more storage for that at some point. We have some envoys av available, but nowhere really to send them. Um, yeah, not really working on wonders, so Brussels not so important. And pretty much projects everywhere, so... All right, let's... Um, what else can we be building? Here we go. So armory stuff. I might want to buy that just so we don't hit our cap. Let's see, four per turn. So we've got about five turns until we actually do hit our cap and seven turns to make it. So, eh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll lose a little bit of aluminum unless I can find a, another cheap uh, encampment that we've been working on. I know you don't have one. Hello, encampments. Is that the only one I built? Is this one and this one? Looks like it. Looks like it. All right. We also have our builders sitting around to help us with space port stuff. Um, and yeah, let's just move along, shall we? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm trying desperately to get that. Oh, right. And we can start getting power. Uh, and we do have power issues. So a bunch of... Um, I will go ahead and get this oil real quick because I do want oil power plants. Um, but yeah, let's get some... Uh, let's use some of these builders for solar panels and things might want to get rid of a few farms for them like commit a builder or two i think i like that idea i think i like that idea just fine and then hopefully with all these scientists projects finishing ooh, nice okay never mind. we won't go over on aluminum we have an armory finishing up next turn that's perfect let's just do it Wants to give me uranium for chocolate. What a deal, Patch of uh, <laughs> That's that's pretty that's pretty awesome. You wait, you were gonna throw this in for free? Wait a minute. All right, I got bamboozled. I got bamboozled by the trade. Oh well. Benjamin Franklin. Three turns. I can wait three turns on our solar power if I want to. Uh, that that will be era score for stuff like that. So I, I guess we might as well wait. Like uh, not having powered stuff right now isn't the biggest deal in the world. Don't really have a lot to do with these governors, do I? I guess we could just toss in like Reina. Perhaps. I could I could start working toward I, I I or I could work towards I could start working I could I, I could work I could uh, I could work towards her contractor ability. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So satellites. Um. What else do we want to head towards here? Don't really need any of that stuff. Flood barriers. How? Uh, not relevant for us. I don't think anywhere. Like. Yeah, no, no low sea level at all. Um, we have everything, so we have oil plants unlocked. I guess we can just go to start going the bottom half of the tree. There's no real reason to go to go to this stuff. We could go right here and like 
like pray that we uh, that we actually have access to the projects and things we need. But let's just work on the bottom half. Um, yeah, so here's where we can start building our oil power plants. Uh, we do have some oil. And they give you the best uh, radius as far as uh, production goes. So one oil to four power. And we have how many oil? We have six oil per turn. So I can get six of those? Is that right? How's this looking? He's back to 21. So if he finishes another project, we may not get here in time. We have two, how long are your projects? Four turns? I don't know if I have four turns. Two. It's kind of our best bet. And I can start building these power plants. If I miss Newton or uh, Einstein, I'll be sad, but it, it will still be will still be okay. Yeah, let's start getting some oil power plants. Um, we could do so here as well, theoretically. Could also get our buildings. The academy. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to get capped on aluminum. Could start taking down improvements for solar panels, but that's all right. We'll chill for now. Here we go. So let's see. Science, public works. Um, not super relevant right now as we're running these projects, but we'll probably get back into it shortly. This is helping us with culture, which seems important. Logistics helping our, our builder movement. We could go levee. Uh, 55 from units is a good amount of gold. I, I, I guess that seems, let's see what that, yeah, yeah, 24 gold per turn, pretty decent, pretty decent, especially since we can buy some power plants or things like that if we want to. Three turns left, cool, 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 cool. Two turns. Game sources. Let us, um, what do we want to do here? I would steal that money. 84% chance to do it seems okay. We could go after combined arms. <sighs> How long? We could try. We could try to grab the combined arms boost, I suppose. And then all of our alliances are up, so we want to re-up those. Friendship. 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 We are doing, I think, science with you. Um, cultural? Yeah. That's not bumming us out. You could be economic. Perfect. All right. Nice. Very nice. Look at us being all friendly. Finally, after Teddy's reign of terror. Um. All right. So where are we at? So he gets this in less than five turns, assuming he's not running a project. I'm just going to go oil. Again, we'll just wait. The best steel. Ooh, we're close. We're very, very close. We could look at Faith buying this. Are we finishing some projects this turn? We should be still. That one. Just one more. All right, so one more turn, and then hopefully we can faith buy it. That, that would be nice. Go into the next age. Let's build our oil. And what is this spy doing? Protecting, right? Counter spy on the aqueduct. <laughs> I 
Oh boy. We ready for more? Are we gonna are we gonna get into a GDR battle there, Teddy? Hmm. Al parecer conocéis tanto de historia como de diplomacia. Vuestro pueblo se beneficia con vuestro gobierno. Uh-huh. I agree. Major droughts, super punishing for us. We go into our golden. How about it? And what do we want here? I have good campuses, so heartbeat is a little bit interesting. Otherwise, it's just gold. Gold is, is being translated into what? Potentially builders, potentially some buildings. Um, so do I want, let's see, well, how much production do we get? We get, there's 10, 15, 20, 28, 30. Somewhere around 35 production, like empire wide. And I'm not really working on wonders, so I don't care about that aspect of it. So it would simply be for the raw production in each city. We are running projects and things, so that does make sense. But I think I'm going to stick with coinage. Um, it's my preferred one. I like having the extra economy, um, and I don't think we'll actually notice that little bit of production. I mean, it's not totally insignificant, but its I don't think it's so good. Especially when we have allies and lots of trade routes. Okay. Um, Did we get it? We missed it. Darn you, Inca. So he snagged this. Uh, I didn't have really means to do it last turn. We needed to, to get to this one. So just a little bit sad about that. Um, this is a good merchant for us, actually. Oil per turn, because we're going for oil power plants, um, makes a lot of sense. So don't need to run this project anymore. We can just get our oil power plant. Pretty much have everybody get those. And then I'll, I'll be very curious to see how, how how tall our cap gets here. All right. Let's start getting some of the... Um, I really want that aluminum. Let's get some of these solar farms up. There's our era score. As I mentioned, we'd be getting... doesn't need to be there that's not a thing um and then i'm gonna continue i think i might try the one spaceport play that, that that's typically how i've done space races in general um since or in up until gathering storm basically um and then gathering storm changed things because we changed how the space race victory works so be, it might might try it with just this whole like Mayan uh, vertical integration shenanigans going on. Might be kind of interesting to see if one city can handle handle the close of the game. My guess is not really, but it'd be a good uh, it'd be a good experiment to to have. Um, industrial maybe. I'm not really sending... I'm sending my trade routes to um, my allies, not city-states, really. I mean, I want my capital to grow. I don't want my other cities to grow. Um, but I'm still going to vote for it. And then a couple Diplo victory points. We don't really care about any of the rest of this, though. Give me those Diplo victory points. They mine. Hello? There we go. Uh, trade. So lost that one. That's to him. And then that's to her. All right. So we lost all of these. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, see, so up to eight. All right. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, do what you want there, Pachacuti. No, I'm working on that combined arms uh, boost, so if I can skip through, I will. Okay, um, 
now what do we want down here? Banks are okay. Projects are fine. I could run this merchant project. Because I would like that oil per turn. Yeah, we're already using five of that for power. So why don't I run a commercial hub investment here? Twelve of thirteen housing. Fourteen of seventeen. City underpowered. Yeah, we could use a few more solar farms. But once these power plants are cruising, so I'm getting, let's see, I'm already at minus five on oil. So we're getting one, two, three, four. Wow. Okay. Five. We're going to be screwed on oil. I guess we're going to have too many of those. We'll see what happens. You're just hanging out. Okie dokie. There's synthetic materials. Cool. Steel tech seems seems pretty good for us. Turn to ten. So maybe I don't get a power plant here. I just don't know that I'll have the resources for it. Plus, I can get the buildings. Still in a drought, so I'll just hang out there for a second. I guess you were coming down for that, but I don't need you there. Was that us here? Yeah, it was. Nice. Good job, spy. Get your final promotion. So we're counter spy at two levels higher. Counter spying at a better level. And then none of these really help. So I guess just linguist. Max promoted spy. We get we get uh, Alfred Nobel. Like this guy in a culture victory more than a science victory but we are going after that merchant so not the worst thing i could go ahead and buy this but we are running that project and i think that gets us close enough scythia pretty far behind um cool cool cool, cool. almost to ideology how's our three turns on the moon landing go i'll go the uh aluminum route over the science route there we can uh, again buy space stuff if we want or buy more science if we want it um, an encampment here, I think, makes a good amount of sense. Again, I'm looking to up our uh, storage of strategics. What else would I be doing? Just like getting culture. Culture's good. I think the, I think the encampment's a little better. Combined arms we're already working on, so I can't really steal. I can't steal that twice. Three more turns. So if I hung out for three turns, or I could just try to steal gold. That's a lot of gold, actually. 90% to get that. Let's go that route. Lots of religious warfare going on. It has been demonstrated. All right, there's ideology. So that gives us some nicer policies to run. Uh, four turns on suffrage, so we're not even going to need that. In fact, this um, project will get us hopefully close to globalization. Not that we're super suzerained of anyone, really. And we probably need to wait for containment to really hold any of them. 
Do we have a... Ingenious? I don't know. I'm not sure where we should be spending this. Um, okay. So that was our project. I don't, I can't see spending a lot on, like, we don't have so much faith or faith per turn that this number is going to get absurd and allow us to buy, like, some of these late ones. Um, so I think spending the 800 faith here makes sense. Just grab that, grab that three oil, oil per turn. Try to keep a balance there. Don't care about the tourism. Okay. So if we were to work on a second spaceport, who would want it? 92, 99. So it would be here. Do I want you to have a spaceport? I guess I might. Sure. And then let's make sure that they actually have the tiles that they want. Because I don't want to be working specialists pre pretty much ever. Uh, can have that. Don't want to give them anything that the cap has. But that is not this. So, okay. So, close to working all the tiles. How's our cap doing? We're pop 16. We have one, two unused tiles already. So, two more. So, we can get up to 18 without switching tiles here. Another encampment, or am I going a little too ham now? Might be going a little too ham now. I don't think I need the culture, though. Don't really want any of these wonders. Could get another spy. Can have them work on that. That's fine. Um... Sure, I guess. We'll start running projects. Science. All right, since I'm going to get about three more. All right, I have one more. No, I have two more already finishing. So that might just make me totally even. So maybe I don't want the power plant here. I could start builders again or just work on projects. Let's do that. Nope, that's the wrong one. This one. So we get campus and industrial. That's pretty good. Um, I'm not really getting a lot of builders for this. This feels like a waste. And then more counter spying on that aqueduct. Very nice. So power wise, is everybody fully powered? Actually, it looks like it. Nice. All right. So power wise, we're doing okay. Could look at the. Uh... So, oh, there's my power range. Okay, sweet. Okay, yeah, power's going fine. I like to see that. Um. I think I like that. That's our bottleneck is science, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with uh, I'm gonna stick with projects in most cases. I wonder if um, because we have all these industrial zones now, how how effective these projects are gonna be. So we get to finish them every three turns, which is fairly impressive. Ooh, research lab needed there. Oh, not to mention this. Maybe that first. Okay. Uh, 
actually no oh, all right doesn't I don't think it matters where that goes I could be wrong though I might have needed to do that here moon landing all right give me those give me those civics so we get a one-time culture boost equal to 10 times my science per turn good reason to be running projects there so got a lot of There's culture so definitely gets us right. to suffrage here and then right on to globalization this is where i want to wind up so we'll see how far that gets us This will give us the containment policy. So if I do want to try to wrestle some control over city-states, that'll be good. And I'm out of I'm out of relevant projects to run. So I can definitely get my buildings. And then we want to launch the Mars colony all the way over here. So, okay, we get there fairly soon. Owned three tanks with composites. I don't have the gold, or I don't have the oil for that. Switch into democracy now. Um, I, may, I might make a save here and just do a little experiment to see which government is better to switch into as far as a per turn basis. So I'm usually, usually a fan of that democracy. Um, okay, so. Housing and amenities. This is the city I care about. They have plenty of housing. What do I think about amenities? Uh, might be worth it to run that, I suppose. Um, and we'll get containment next turn. So I can send out some of those. Yeah, maybe New Deal's fine. New Deal, and I'll just run this for a turn until we can uh, send off some more envoys. <laughs> All right, this guy, you don't have a thing. Okay. So did you, did you fail? Yeah, you failed. Okay. You failed. Well, there's no time for it now then, I don't think. Although I am going directly here. So you can try again, I suppose. Eight turns. Cool. How far is our culture going to get us? Um, pretty, pretty far. So uh, maybe, maybe. Oh God! What, what an engineer! This is just <laughs> the idea that an engineer does this at all kind of cracks me up. Like engineers are notorious. Like I, I don't know. Maybe it's meant to balance. One isn't enough. It should definitely be two. I don't even really want this at all. I'd rather give it to Grand Columbia. We're up to 258 production. All right, I do want to put in containment for a second. So every time we send an envoy to somebody who has a different suzerain uh, or a suzerain in a different government than us, uh, <clears throat> we get two. And we were just the first tier three government, so I assume that nobody else uh, has our government, which means I can send these out pretty happily. That should give us should give us two. Did it? No. Did you really not have? So, Teddy. He's in autocracy. And she's in oligarchy. So why didn't that work? <laughs> I 
Uh, okay, well, it was, a, it was a nice thought, I suppose. Stop it. Stop spying on me. All right, well, we'll get out of that policy. <laughs> that did not work there. I wonder if it's because two people had the same amount of envoys there. I don't know. Maybe there was no proper suzerain. All right, and then 20 turns on globalization. Culture, definitely a weak part of our game at the moment. Two turns until we grow there. If you're ever gonna ah, eight turns, we might get it. <laughs> that would be uh, fantastic. <laughs> I'm not trading my aluminum though. He just can't get rid of that uranium. I guess he's not into it. It is obvious that while science, uh, he could make some like. Teenage Mutant Ninja Mountain Yetis or something. But no, he's not interested. Um, I could grab a broadcast tower. We are light on culture. I don't have a ton of other productive stuff to do. Like, we could grab an archaeologist just for some era score. We can get up to 29 people here. Holy cow. And that should, that gets me close to working all the mines, right? So the next citizen we add, we actually want to start taking back these other mines. So in four turns, they'll need more tiles to work. Uh, and I think I like this. We've, we have plenty of power now. In the long run, our power requirement will go up um, just based on those projects. But it's really just it's right at the end of the game. And it doesn't feel like it matters too much. So I think I'll grab that. Just give us a little more culture. Plenty of power, and I'm overdoing it for sure. Because again, knowing later on in the game that we're gonna we're gonna lose it. Hey, that's a good chunk of gold to steal. How about that? That's pretty nice. I mean, this is a pretty central. Um, it's actually not the worst zoo in the world. I'm going to grab it. <laughs> the weird things I'm doing this game, by my standards anyways. I suppose you can have a watermill. It's like super late to matter, but whatevs. That seems okay. Oh, yeah. Let's do more. Let's grab our promotion first. Siphon funds. No demands for you. Technology is the Okie dokie. So now we can start the colony. I'll go there first. Give them time to hopefully steal. I'll let the zoo finish, even though we can start the other project. So how's our oil? Uh, generating nine per turn and using eight of it. That's pretty good. Um, we could go for one more. I think we have exactly, like, we need one more industrial zone to have them all there. Or not industrial zone. Oil power plant. 
You guys know what I'm talking about. Oil. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. You do not. That's the one that we need. You don't have an industrial zone at all, so that doesn't matter. You have coal. And you have oil. So yeah, there's one more oil power plant that we could have. Probably do want to get it. I bet we'll we'll get over 300 production in the cap this game. It's pretty decent. Now we don't get the 10% bonus to it, but I still think it's I still think it's pretty neat the way that Magnus works with uh, with Maya. Um. Okay. Only 57 production in this city. Um, okay, so this spy, I think my plans here are to uh, counter spy in Jakarta. So I guess move you first. I could buy those. Might be better to buy those. Yep. All right, cool. So we're about to grow uh, next turn. So let's go ahead and snag another mine that we can work next turn. And then we'll do seven turns on the colony. Did that make a difference? Oh, it did. That zoo. And look, our war weariness is almost away. Oh, thank goodness. No, I am not fighting him, any him anymore. No. 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 Untutored courage. Oh, hi. Can repair those farms. I think I might buy that power plant, huh? Are you done? Oh, did you fail? Oh, you got it. Nice. Okay, so we sweet. We got it. Very, very nice. I guess I don't have to worry about switching into the policy if it's not working. <laughs> Which sucks. That means my uh, the policy I want to run isn't going to be nearly as good. But we'll still take 10% science. Mausoleum finally goes. Turn 222. Hermitage as well. No. <laughs> oh, how bad was that? Actually, Liang is here. Liang, are you an environmentalist? You are not. <laughs> I can't even really get there at the moment. Oh, that's not good. Um, So Spaceport is here. So that's probably just the best place. We'll just do City Center for now. Protects these two. We have to repair all this nonsense now. I, I, I had that hesitation when I decided that that was going to be our next spaceport city, but. Very, very productive cities. Feels good. Feels real nice. Did you actually turn to volcanic soil yet? Yeah, you did. <gasps> Rock bands. That was a good one, too. There's some uranium. There's some more uranium. Hey, nice. Okay, so this district's regional buildings provide plus two production, uh, and they reach three tiles further. Um, yeah, we'll just use that in the cap. We'll just use that in the cap. I was thinking, like, maybe get cute and, like, put it somewhere else, like maybe this one, but 
I think it's just better off in the cap. Even though we're not running the oil power plant here, I think it's I think it's best. It's our it's our most centralized one. To repair that before we can send out a trade route. Um. Oh, and where's my? You are my government plaza. We definitely want to get the uh, Royal Society here. That allows us to convert those builders into production. Really? Another drought? Aren't aqueducts supposed to prevent drought? Okay, so I have more stuff for builders to do <laughs> eventually once the drought's over. Um, I could gold buy this. We should also get it naturally. So three Eurekas for Atomic or Information Era. That should be relevant. Because Atomic we're done with. So yeah, so three in the Information Era seems pretty good. So that'll be nice. Grab you. Don't care about that one. This one we do want. Do I just want to spend money on it? I mean, I, I don't need the Eureka, but 20% towards the projects, especially when we're working on one. Although it's almost done. Eh. Sweet. All right, that's all good stuff that we needed. Happy about that. Oh, we're at 19. I need to give them another. Okay. If you go on with this nuclear arm. I'll do a rocket scientist here in case we need him on the offense, spy wise. City goes. That's fine. We'll probably just go a little bit long in this video. Try to wrap up the game. We're getting pretty close. Okay. Need to give them tiles. I'm just going to give them all now. So we can grow into one, two, three more citizens. We are still food focused. So we're growing fairly quickly. I really need that other trade route online. Don't want the archaeologist. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the coal. I don't really want to switch into that. So we'll run more science projects. And then I guess I'll just send this guy out to get leveled up. And we'll just go bother Teddy because he's such a big pain in my butt. Pachakutis? Okay. Wow, that's so much more gold. We're rich. Now I guess I probably should buy that engineer. So how's this going? Uh, Yeah, he's got a long way to go. Long, long way to go. Oh, I can I can burn the rest of my faith on this now. And try to save this for like a big purchase. 
I would put that in the cap, but we just really don't need it. We don't need the amenities. We don't need the housing. <laughs> we have ecstatic cities across the board. Some very nice cities, by the way. Um, almost 300 produ production in the cap. 84, 81, uh, 58, honestly, isn't even that bad. 111, 110. What's my best one? Oh, it's this with all this. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, all right. Still have a ways to go, don't we? I guess I should get another encampment. Uh, and you know what? I actually I changed my mind. I think we've got a little while to go. I don't want to double up this video totally, so I will put a cut in here for now. Uh, and we'll hopefully come back and finish up in the next one. So thank you so much. Uh, I know there's a bit of a different feel. Some of you probably love it and, and want me to always do this. Um, and some of you probably miss my face and chat and stuff like that as well. So anyways, uh, hopefully you're enjoying it. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.